YouTube video, man, we'll be going over the top five best AR laws to use as a right now in Warzone 2. Hey, man, it's gonna be a banger. So make sure you guys go ahead and like and subscribe to the YouTube channel with the Bellcast Center. All just get me seeing my bangers. And listen, man, let's go ahead and hop straight to these loadouts. All right, man, going over the first AR we got right here is the M4, which is my personal favorite number one AR that is in this game right now, bro. And recently, bro, I started rocking the 45 round match because I like the reload speed on this gun. And I don't know, bro, it just makes the M4 feel a little bit just fun to use in my personal opinion okay but going into test real quick man start out with the optic we are rocking this the amo pv4 here's also the tune that you guys want to rock for this one i want to max out the flip resistance and for the opposition i want to set this thing to a 0.06 okay going on to the second test man it's the barrel man we are rocking this the high tower 20 inch barrel here's all the tunes you guys need for this one i'll put the rico stands at a 0.19 and for your damage at range i'll just to stay to a 0.40 okay moving on to the third test man which is for the muzzle man we are rocking this the chronic op44 it's gonna give you vertical rico troll and horizontal rico troll because stabilization we will put this thing at a 0.31 and for your rico troll we will put this thing to a 0.16 okay and also man moving on to that fourth attachment which is for the underbarrel we are rocking the f-tab ripper 56 here's two that you guys want to rock on this one i will put the rico stabilization at a 0.54 and my stability is at a 0.27 okay and like i said with the beginning of this m4 setup man we are rocking is the 45 round mag however man the reason why i choose to rock the 45 Five round mags because obviously you guys see my videos i'm a very very accurate player to the point where rocket 60 is a little bit just extra help for me overall though don't get me wrong i only recommend you guys to only use a 45 round mag just depend on what game modes you guys are playing maybe like solo duels or even trios however if you guys are playing quads or if you are a person who is just learning the game right now and trying to learn your rico control obviously you're going to miss a lot so i highly recommend rocking the 60 but however if you guys are one of those players who are very very I guess you could say decent at the game or a little bit more skillful, then go ahead and try out the 45 round mat. This is why I like rocking as of right now in this um, current game right now, okay? Listen, man, like I said, bro, the M4 is my favorite AR, bro. I have to put it as number one, man. Comment down below, man. What is you guys go to number one AR that is in this game right now that is not the meta? But listen, man, let's go ahead and move on to the second best loadout. For the second best loadout, man, a gun that you guys been sleeping on lately, bro, the STB556. I don't know about you guys, but listen, man, if this gun had maybe like a bigger mat this guy this gun right here could have easy been like the top three guns that's meta that's in this game right now however the biggest meta you guys can rock on this thing is a 42 round mat what did i love about this gun the most is fire rate it has a very very quick fire rate similar to like the m13 but in my press opinion this thing is a little bit more accurate than the m13 okay so if you guys like those guns then you guys will definitely like this gun right here okay which i am putting as number two okay so going over your test real quick man for the optic we are rocking it's the xz restart dx here's all the you guys want to rock for this one i will put the flip resistance at a 0.58 in the opposition i would set that thing at default okay moving on to the second attachment man, it's for the muzzle we are rocking this the harbinger d20 there's all tools you guys need for this one we'll stop that rico smoothest at a 1.08 the bullet flies you will set that thing to a one okay third attachment is for the underbarrel we will always rock the m attack for 56 here's all the tools for this one put the recoil stabilization to a 0.49 aim and eye stability man will set this thing to a 0.40 because this will give you aim and eye stability and also that recoil stabilization which is very very important for this gun okay and moving on to that fourth attachment is for the ammunition we are rocking this the high velocity so we are reaching our targets that are a little bit further there's also tools for this one damage at range at a 0.20 i know some people max it out but i just chose to put my thing at 0 0.20 and for the above velocity i set this thing to a 4.06 okay the last attachment which is for the magazine biggest mag the biggest man that you guys can rock as of right now for this gun is the 42 round match so go ahead and slap that on all right listen man if you guys haven't yet bro if you guys try out the cast off 545 that i highly recommend you guys try the stb 556 this is a gun that is very very fun to use and a lot of people just been sleeping on it for whatever reason it's actually pretty good but listen though man and move on to the third best loadout for the third best loadout man obviously which is the current meta right now the tr76 guys i see a lot of people have been saying that the cast out 762 is the meta compared to the guys but comment down below how you guys feel about that what do you guys think is better the guys or the 762 but listen though man try this guy setup bro which is also pretty good i also made this build to where it has a little bit to no recoil at all whatsoever so if you play on console you guys are going to love this build okay so going on with the uh, the attachment real quick man start with the optic we are rocking the 
a mop v4 here's all two just want to rock for this one we put the a down sight speed to a nato 0.68 if you're opposition i'll just set the state to default okay moving on to the second attached man which is for the barrel we are rocking as the brewer and brittle heavy barrel here's all two just want to rock for this one i'll mess with the rico steadiness and for the damage and range bro just go ahead and max that thing out to a 0.25 okay third attached man is for the muzzle we are rocking as the board 490 which is going to get you vertical slash horizontal rico show this thing has a huge rico problem so therefore man rocking to attach man help me out a lot okay it's going to uh, for this tunis man we're going to max out both rico stabilization and rico control okay moving on to that fourth attachment which is for the under barrel we are rocking the f type for 56 this tunis for this one put the rico stabilization at a 0 0.44 and my stability is at a 0 0.26 and for the last attachment of course man which is for the magazine we are rocking this the 45 round mag which is good enough it's because the damage on this gun is simply just amazing okay so try this book man for the tr76 guys like i said man comment down below man what do you guys think is better the guys or the 762 okay but listen man let's go ahead and move on to the fourth best loadout 44 best loadout man we got right here is the tag 56 man my personal favorite ar to use as of right now in this game i'm not gonna lie to you bro this thing does not move at all whatsoever and if you play on console you're gonna love this gun not only does the thing does not does not move however though man it has great great damage on it okay so let's go ahead and go into the task real quick man start out with the optic again it's because i rocket is the aim op v4 i know some people do not rock an optic on attack 56 but i do personally because i want to be able to see my enemies at a long range gunfights this makes it a little bit easier however if you are a person who does not want to rock the optic you actually like the iron sights on attack 56 and what i would do personally is probably take off the optic and for this ammunition i would probably just slap on the high velocity just put that thing all the way to the max on both fans damage at range and the uh bullet velocity also to a damage at range okay but however though man like i said this is prefer this is how i prefer to rock it i like pretty much putting the tech 56 all the way to the max right here at a flinch resistance and put the opposition all the way to a negative 0 0.56 okay the second attached man which is for the barrel we are rocking is the tundra pro barrel tunis man rico stands at a 0 0.15 damage at range at a 0 0.10 okay third attached man is for the muzzle we are rocking is the harbinger d20 we're gonna give you the most rico smoothest as possible damage at range above velocity we're gonna remove all that rico and visual effect out this gun because i rocking this okay and also follow down follow these tunis right here bro go ahead and match out that rico smoothness and also match out your above velocity City, okay moving on to that foot attachment which is for the under barrel we are rocking it's the f tap ripper 56 tunis man rico stabilization is to the max aim and stability is also to the max okay and last attachment of course which is for the magazine we're gonna go ahead and rock it's the 60 round mag okay it's gonna do the trick for you okay you can go ahead and rock the 40 if you want to the only thing that's that you only get really just a benefit from putting the 40 on is that for one you're gonna have a quick ads speed pretty much how pro players used to rock it they always ride like the shortest mag okay but it's really up to you my press the you guys probably will be able to get, get away for it let me know if you guys want to see a video with me use the 40 round mag okay but if you like rocking the 60 on this gun okay and this is what i recommend you guys to use okay listen man tech 56 bro like i said again bro if you guys if you guys are on console you guys like the m13 you guys like the m13c the stb 556 you're going to love the Tag 56. I think when it comes down to probably like the best ARs for like console, in my personal opinion, I really feel like that the Tag 56 is definitely up there. There's no gun that is that literally has those like you know key factors in a gun. You know, having no recoil, good damage, none of that stuff. This gun is very very easy to, easy to use. You guys should be able to drop high kill gameplays with this gun, okay? But listen though, man, let's go ahead and move on to that last loadout. For the last loadout, man, we got right here is the Cast Out 762, man. Now, I know a lot of you guys are might might be a little bit disappointed in me. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Don't get me wrong, bro. This gun is, is really amazing, but I personally feel that it is a little bit hard to control the recoil on this gun, in my personal opinion. And that's just me saying that you guys know I'm a skill player, but there's many reasons why people do not want to rock the Cast Out 762. Too. it's one of those guns that where if you are using it in a long range gunfight it just tends to have its own type of recoil pattern the recoil pattern is not the same it's almost like it's either going horizontal or it's almost going vertical almost every single time you shoot this gun in a long range gunfight that's why i really do not recommend it like that in my personal opinion okay who knows man maybe if they were to like i guess you could say like buff like the visual recoil on this gun or something like that in the next update this gun could be it but in my personal opinion
opinion, bro. I would change all that, bro. And that's why I put it as number five. But however, though, man, this class setup right here that you guys are looking at is a little bit more of an easier setup that you guys can try out, okay? So going over the first stats, man, which is for the optic VR rocket is the AMO PV4. Here's also if you guys want to rock on this one, I would mess with the foot resistance and also put that opposition to a negative 1.58, just maxing that thing out towards the far position, okay? Second attachment man, is for the barrel. We are rocking to see cast 10 584 millimeter barrel. There's also this for this one to go ahead and mess up that recoil steadiness and also mess up that damage at range, okay? Third attachment man, is for the muzzle. We are rocking to see TYLR8, which is going to also help you guys out a lot. It's going to fix that horizontal recoil control from this gun. Mess up that recoil stabilization and also mess up that recoil control, okay? Fourth attachment man, is for the under barrel. We are rocking to see M type 56. Tunis man, mess up the recoil stabilization and also mess up the aim and stability. We're trying to make this thing as accurate as possible. Along with that, man, we're trying to make this thing have very, very good control on these guns. Because, like I said, if you are shooting this gun in a very, very long range gunfight, your aim just tends to go just all over the place because of the recoil, okay? So, make sure you're rocking that right there. And here's also the last attachment, of course, man, which is for the magazine. We are rocking the 40 round match because that is the biggest, which is okay because this gun does hit when you are. Are hitting your shots okay listen man i hope you guys did enjoy today's video man comment down below man if you guys like my order to the top five best ars man comment down below man what is you guys top five ars along that man comment down a setup that i should use in tomorrow's video i'm thinking about using a subscribers loadout for a video and you guys will probably get a shout out okay other than that man thank you guys so much for watching and i'm out boys peace